Ah, right, people, welcome back to another video. All right, guys. So today I'm just gonna show you guys how to safely update your new driver, which is the AMD Fluid Motion Frame driver. So they released a new version of the AMD Motion Frames 2 driver a couple days ago. If you go on the release notes, right now it's 24.20.1101, and the old version is 24.20. Dot twenty dot zero one dot zero two. Right, so now they have support for Frostpunk two, God of War, Sims, and Delta Force, and then they got expanded AMD Boost support for Final Fantasy, and then also some other supports in here. And also this driver have comes with a lot of fixes, right? So I'm hearing that this frame generated frames are smoother and anti log is kind of better so you're getting a better experience with this new driver so i'm thinking you guys should update if you already had the older version of this so this is a safer safer way to update the driver if you already are on the preview driver right if you're not on the preview driver you do not need to do this step which is using ddu uh, i'll show you how to do that right now guys and this should be the safest way to do it so that your legion space is not crashing and you're not having any type of issue so let me get into it real quick and show you what's going on guys all right so first things first what i want you guys to do you create a restore point if there's any issue you just revert back to this point and this is how i start off all my videos so let's go to search type restore point from here then you hit create restore point right here give it a name hit create let this do its thing real quick all right that's done all right, next thing is now I want you guys to download the driver, the preview driver files, and also DDU. Let's download the driver from right here. The link should be in the description box down below for both. So once that's downloaded, you can come back to here. I'll put the website down below for this as well. So this is right here is just an uninstaller for you guys to uninstall the older preview driver and then reinstall a fresh driver, right? So if you're in the EU, which is Europe or USA, download whichever one you're from. So I'm in the USA, click that, let that download. So then now you just need to go where you download the DDU. The, the, the you wanna extract it from here. Click on that, extract all, extract. Click on this again, and then extract one more time. Go in here, and then this is the uninstaller right here. So you just need to remember where it's at. The next thing you wanna do, you want to turn off your Wi-Fi. You don't want it to auto update once you're in safe mode. So you have to go in safe mode in order to uninstall the old driver version, right? So you want to make sure the Wi-Fi is off. Once you do that, go to search, go to settings. Then you go to Windows update. Then you go to advanced options. Then you go to recovery. Then right here, you see advanced startup, right? Once you click this, you'll get a little menu right here saying it's going to restart your device. So you hit restart now and it'll boot you up into safe mode guys so when you get here you just gotta get to go to troubleshoot then advanced options then startup settings then right here you just hit restart restart right here so when you get here now you have to click four which it says right here enable safe mode if you do not have a keyboard you could double tap the screen and the keyboard will pop up so you just have to press four and it will restart into safe all right so i ran into a little issue just now so when i moved the the ddu to the desktop it wasn't located in it when i clicked on it so once you do that if it's not working for you just go back into the original compress file which is right here and then you ex extract it one more time when you extract it again, just leave it in the same folder, guys. So then you go in here, and then you go to this, extract again. I already did it already just now. So hit replace destination. So once you do that, leave it in here, and then just open it from here, guys. Once you do that, hit run. Extract one more time. Yes. Yes to all. Go in here. Then you click on the display driver and then open it so here now you go right here then you go to gpu it's going to autofill the type of driver you have which is amd and then you want to click on clean and restart so once it's done it will restart your device Alright, so let it restart. I'm gonna boot back up. 
Alright, so now you want to go to settings and you want to change back your display to landscape. Once you get here, go to system, go to display. And then you see display orientation right here. Alright, so now to install the new preview driver, right? So now you go to where you downloaded the driver. It's in my downloads folders, and which is right here. You click on that, you're gonna let it run and you're gonna let it go through its process and then it's gonna create an amd folder for you guys so just like the original way that you see on my channel it's the same process now let it do its thing real quick all right so this is what you're looking for hope something went wrong and then you can close this out all right so it's done let me see something real quick just to double check that everything is good go on here you go to this PC SSD oh yeah so now see it created a new folder this is what you want guys you don't need to be in here right now you can exit X that out all right so now let's get to installing the driver you just need to get to device manager go in here search device manager open that up on the left side you will see display adapter click that and then you see Microsoft basic display adapter click on that then you go to driver here Then you go to update driver, run brush on my device, and then let me pick from a list. I have disk. Then you hit browse. Go to this PC. Go to your SSD. Then you go to AMD. AMD. Then AMD software installer, packages, drivers, display. And this file right here. Then you select this file right here, which is INF file. Then you open. Then you OK. It's going to open up a bunch of drivers in here. So you want to make sure you look for the specific one, which is AMD Radeon TM 780M graphics. So right here, AMD Radeon TM 780M graphics. You want to make sure you select the right one, guys. If not, then your games will not be running properly. Then you hit next. It's going to give you this warning right here. Yes, and they let us do this thing, guys. All right, so when you finish, this is screen you will see. Windows has successfully updated your drivers. All right, you close that out. Close this out. All right, so now we're gonna install the AMD software. Go back into the AMD folder. So you go to this PC, SSD, go to AMD. Let's install a package, then go to package. Then you go to drivers, then you go to display, go to the INF folder, then you're looking for this folder right here, B407586, so this is where you'll find the AMD software. Click on that. Now when you scroll down, you're looking for ICC file. Scroll down till you see it. right here so ccc2 that's what i meant sorry so ccc2 underscore install this is what you're looking for and you click on this it's gonna bring up right here hit yes and you let us do this thing now it's installing the amd software guys and do not close this out you might think it's finished but it's not finished until you see complete right here where you're seeing it's saying install so after it's done you'll see complete right here guys all right so now you see it says complete that means it's done. You close it out. Close this. So now you're gonna hit your system with a restart. All right, so now that you're back in, let me check something real quick. Device manager. So now it says AMD Radiant 780M graphics. I mean, just installed. Go in here and you can see the graphic version. Close that out. Go back here. Then you search the AMD general software, open that up. When you right click, or you could just search for it in the search bar. Hit skip. So now, right here, as you can see, 24.20.11.01. So that means it updated, guys. Go to gaming real quick. Let's go to Spider Man. Now you see AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2. You can turn it on and off if you want. And you can also mess with the search mode. And also the performance. 
so i have a video coming out soon show you like all the show you a little bit of comparison of what's going on because it's supposedly it should be smoother and a better experience because they patched it and ironed it out to make it a lot of smoother guys so yeah so that's basically it that's all your update to the new amd fluid motion frames 2 driver and yeah thanks for tuning in guys and remember to always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys and don't forget to sub to the channel for more awesome content guys i'm out <laughs>